Good morning, everybody. This is Zeus. If you've never seen him before and you're brand new, he's my old dog coming and hanging out a little bit in the morning. I thought I would give you guys five updates today. First one actually is really cool. We made it into the paper. First page. Zeus is happy. Um, little Annie and I are on the uh, front page of the newspaper and that's really cool. It's in recognition of the wildies that we have here. Um, currently, right now, we have uh, Annie and Mr. Wild. Again, if you're new here, a wildie is kind of like a Canadian Mustang. They're the horses that come off of our ranges uh, here in British Columbia. Uh, private ranges, actually, because the public ones don't exist because the government would like to get rid of them all here in BC. Whereas the province over Alberta actually has some kind of protections. This guy right here is Mr. Wild. Named after Oscar Wilde, actually, through a YouTube poll. When we got him just over a year ago, and look at him now. Maybe about a year, three months or so. He's fantastic. A lovely horse. Chitty chats a lot. He's always got something to say. And he's rather goofy and fun, but he is looking fantastic. He's up top here right now. He's got an itch. Look at that balance. It's incredible. All horses can do that, but it's still incredible all the same. Okay, so the next thing to talk about, we have some odd weather going on right now. The sun should look pretty orange. What? I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, we've got some fires going on. We've got some fires to the northeast. Uh, smells like a campfire out here. And then there's another fire in some uh, landfill over next to Vancouver, south southeast section of Vancouver. Anyways, so smoky day today. A little bit cloudy, but the smoke is really contributing to the orange and sort of this cast to the day. This is Zulu. She is a standard bred here for a little bit of training and doing fantastically. Fantastically, is that a word? She's doing fantastic, she's great. Um, Mr. Wild's at the top because we have a new member here, not this one, this is Lena. Hello, Lena. You have a fly on your eyeball. A little bit of eye goop. We always help our horses out. It's very important to be able to touch their face and ears and all that kind of stuff. It's morning, so they're all kind of looking for food, but we're gonna do a little horsey check and I give you update on all kinds of things going on. So, moving on to the third item, we have a new friend back here. Now, I know about 3,000 of you have seen the short and have already said hello and welcome back, but here is Maya. Maya also is a BC Wildie, although originally from the Yukon, from my understanding, and she was here for a couple of months for some training. She went back home to a obviously very lush, green, delicious field of grass. <laughs> what is it? My goodness, she says, well, hurry up and feed me. Stop talking, stop petting, and just feed. So I think I'm going to do a little bit with her. Um, Myself, I think that uh, I want to give her a reminder of the comfort and happiness, but she <laughs> needs a little exercise too. She's such a pretty horse, so hello, Maya. Do you want to be friends again? She says, I want to be fed again. Top Nia, oh, she's looking for butt scratch. All right, come here, bring it over. Come on, I can't reach. She, um, I don't know if she learned this here, but she was a real standoffish kind of. Oh, there we go. Uh, kind of horsey in the very beginning when she came here. And uh, she quickly learned that if she sort of backed up nicely and came a little bit closer, that she would get some butt scratches. And every horse loves a good butt scratching. I don't know why. I guess because it's hard to reach. <laughs> She's making the face, you can't see it, but it's there. Anyhow. I could scratch horses all day long. Full-time job. It's been very dry here. Look at the pond. It is real low. So today is Operation Fill the Pond Back Up day with water. I'm going to borrow the water from the swimming pool. I've purposely left it alone for a few weeks. No chlorination or chemicals or anything. So it's 
all of that just kind of, oh, just went through a spider web. Went, go, kind of goes away. And so I think we can drain that out into the pond a bit. Hello, Gracie. I know my hand sort of smells like Maya. Do you want to smell it? She says, yeah, I guess so. There you go. Oh, I'm getting you all dusty. Your other eyeball. This is Gracie. She's an Arabian. She's been here for four years now. A rescue. Nobody wanted her. And her owner had passed away, so she needed to go somewhere. So, anyhow. Over to Yoka. Hello, little one. How's it going? What are you doing? Talking to the boys? Hi. Why do you look so worried? Do you need a hug? You guys have all been noticing how Yoka is being rather amazing with Zulu. And I agree. She's a fantastic horse. Hello, Luke. Hi, buddy. Just, oh, is it, what are we looking at? We're looking at those guys? All right, let's go say hi. Flies everywhere, no mosquitoes. So those have gone away. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is a seriously orange cast all over this place. You can see it more there. Yeah, that forest fire suck. Okay, so now, since we're all full up there, this place is chock-a-block full. We're actually a little bit over, but that's okay. Um, now, down here has Annie and Roni. This is Annie. That's Roni. He's a quarter horse. And Annie is the one featured in the newspaper article. She is our one-year-old BC Wildy. She loves Roni. They get along so well. Look at her. She's just adorable. Just follows him around. She might stay. She might stay for a scratch or two. Here she comes. And he's the cutest. The cutest ever. She says, right on the shoulder. Always Annie's favorite spot. If you ever were to visit her at some point in time, you would find this is her favorite spot. To be scratched. Like that. <laughs> so honestly, you could spend all day scratching horses. I think somebody said it'd be a fantastic job to be given scritchy scratches of horses. And I can tell you, it's an absolute full-time job. Okay, so the last item I'm going to talk about is our forest. And many of you have given some amazing uh, oh, words of encouragement and support. Um, many are very happy to see this finally done. This has been a dream for, I guess, six years now, ever since I bought this place. I knew that I wanted the forest to be accessible and usable for riding or just taking a walk around. <clears throat> and um, it is finally. And the last bits of work that I have wanted to do here are done. And that is to make a few extra trails that sort of break up these gravel ones, because the gravel ones were all done. So now what we have here is some dirt trails. Now these won't be very useful in any other time other than uh, the dry season or the drier season, because it rains a lot here. This is essentially a rainforest. So a lot of people say, well, you know, what about a pasture, a whole bunch of grassy area or something like that? But it's actually very difficult to do that here in the lower mainland because it rains so much and it just creates mud. And then in wintertime, nothing grows anyway, so you've got nothing. Um, so, oh, it is really orange in here. And so we've got this one here and I made a brand new one just a few days back that goes through here. So this connector here, and that's back home, right? We just came through there. So there's that pathway, the gravel pathways, and this is our brand new one that breaks up what I call the east-west connector and comes through to the other side. And the original pathway that came through here a long time ago, about first year in or second year in, we made this loop that went around this beautiful maple tree here. And that now does, it still has the same loop, but it kind of reaches the edge of that gravel trail, which goes around that edge there to there. And this is the west side of the property when that pathway goes up there. So this is really nice because what we want to be able to do when we're back here, there's a bug on the screen. Um, what we want to be able to do when we're back here is make 
turns, make, you know, lefts and rights and, and have the horses thinking about what are we doing when we're riding? Are we staying on this path? Are we hanging a left to go on this path and then go over there and then come back around and then hang another right and then go up here, come over to this pathway over here? Because we want them thinking about what we might be thinking about. And so the more that we get used to this place, the better it is for them because we can come up with a plan in our head, almost like a dance pattern in a way. Look at this. This is the far corner, the farthest edge of the pathway. And it just is just pure forest. Hard to get across over to there. I don't know what we're gonna do in the future, but there's still more land to be used. I just don't know how to use it yet. Project for another year. So all the dirt pathways are gonna stay dirt for now. And I'm gonna think about what I wanna do, whether or not I wanna gravel them or leave them as dirt. The problem with leaving them as dirt, as I said, it's a rainforest. We have rain eight months out of the year and it essentially just makes mud. Um, not that mud isn't a good idea to sort of practice and stuff, but <laughs> not the amount of mud that we get. It becomes mm, unusable, essentially. So, so this is back to our east-west connector that I was talking about, and now we're just heading up the east side of the property here to go back. So, this concludes the forest upgrades for this year, and it has been a very big year for that, because the whole pathway that I'm walking on right now was done this year. In fact, it was done in a period of a, a few weeks, mostly by myself, but a little bit of help here and there. And in turn, of course, uh, it takes time to get that kind of stuff done. So, um, with this done, I can now finally start concentrating on a few other things, smaller things, smaller projects around here. One of them is actually obstacles. I want to be able to put obstacles on these pathways. The reason to have, another reason to have so many pathways is that we can choose sort of a beginner trail, or an intermediate, or an advanced. So, I'm looking forward to doing that. All right, we're back up at the top. Well, the bottom of the top. All my little horsies. So that's it. Uh, quick update. Thank you to everybody who said congratulations on that newspaper article with Annie and I. Hello, Annie. You are so photogenic, it's crazy. Such a pretty horse. And nice, quiet, kind, interested in learning, loves her scratches. <laughs> Loves them so much. Somebody said her mane is growing. I agree. This thing is actually getting quite long. Yeah. I don't know if I would have noticed if somebody didn't say something because I'm around her all the time. So it's hard to notice. It just kind of happens. So. All right. Um, and so, yes, thank you, everybody. <laughs> it is nice to see a bunch of people as excited. Maybe not quite as excited as I am. Very proud. It's a fantastic thing to be on the front of a newspaper. Even if it is just the local uh, city newspaper, it's still really nice. So, and uh, what else? Yeah, and of course Maya's back. So thank you to everybody who welcomed her back. Oh, and last but not least, uh, we have five new bracelets up for sale on the website. And if you don't know where that is, there's a link in the description below to the shop, but essentially it's just stablehorsetraining.com slash shop. And that takes you to a few things that we sell. And one of those are fundraiser bracelets made by Maya's owner. Beautiful things, they're absolutely fantastic. I am thrilled to have a few more to be able to offer. And uh, some of them, I think most of them come from the horses that are here this time. She found just a little bit extra, organized things out. So thank you to Maya's owner for bringing those. Okay, that's it for now. I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully this little update has been a bit enjoyable and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Till next time.